Hello YouTube, Jeff Steele here with Steele Navigator. And today I wanted to shoot a video on the topic of shaving in prison or jail. I think it's kind of an interesting topic considering there is a large community, shaving community on YouTube. And it might be some interesting information for all of you to know. So, what I do know from experience as far as the, the jail side of shaving, so the way they did it then was that once a week they came around and would pass out these little disposable razors. The handle would be about two inches in length, very thin. It's called a security razor is what it's called. And I, I put a picture on the thumbnail of the exact ones that they would pass out for us. So, and it's a one blade disposable cartridge. Okay, so they would pass them around on, on one day of the week and would allow people to use them and they would come back a lot around within, I'd say about two hours and would collect them, count them, inspect them. If one was altered or if one was missing, automatic lockdown until it was found. So they did not pass out shaving cream whatsoever. So the inmates would make their own shave cream and that was a combination of water, soap, and some type of shampoo or, or preferably conditioner if that was available. It's usually a mixture of that and would just apply by hand to the face and that was it. Most guys would grow a, a goatee because that's a very intricate area, sensitive area to shave with such a crappy razor. So for example, if you have a very thick, dense beard, you're not able to really get around the nose in these areas, around the lips, and these dimple areas around the chin. And, this is, and also there's a lot more hair follicles in that area. So when you've got a very crappy one blade disposable, you want to try to shave as little as possible if you can, because it's, it's not very comfortable. You don't have the, the high quality a five blade cartridge razors with the little single trimmer blade where you can get in here and in the, in the dimples of the chin area. And again, you don't have nice fancy shave creams and you, and now I have heard that some institutions will pass out shaving cream as well. The aerosol based cans on shower days and a corrections officer will observe the entire shaving procedure and once the job is done it's handed back to the corrections officer and of course it's therefore inspected and and everything is counted so it, it, of course automatic lockdown if everything is not on point so that's another thing I've heard that they in some situations they do pass out shaving cream but as far as the actual razor itself it's pretty standard that security razor that's on the thumbnail usually they're red from what I understand and another thing is there's always the question of should you grow a beard to avoid having to shave that with such a, a painful situation with a crappy razor crappy shaving cream if any shave cream at all and uh, and there's always, there's so many factors, there's pros and cons in all situations. Of course, there's, there's, there's gang affiliations and what style or hygiene is permitted in certain organizations. And there's also the fact of, as far as looking at it from an objective perspective, do you want to keep a clean shaven face and, and short or buzz hair for safety reasons? For example, in boxing, they require boxers to shave their face clean and a lot of times they'll even trim their eyebrows down very short and, and they'll put Vaseline all over their cheekbones, around their eyebrows. So when they take a hit, instead of gripping like sandpaper, the, it'll help deflect the hit, okay? Especially with the Vaseline. And when you have a clean shaven face, it helps deflect a hit more efficiently. So if you got a beard 
or a scruffy face is when they when you take a hit it's like gripping sandpaper okay it does a lot more damage to your face so that's something to consider and and of course then when you have a clean shaven face you lose a little more of the intimidation factor so there's there's pros and cons to both again most guys will grow a goatee around here so then they can sort of they still shave and if you're going to take a hit you can usually deflect that area and maybe it goes off to a cheekbone but that's that's what i understand and see a lot of so again not very pleasant shaving in jail or prison the lowest of low quality razors and shaving cream if any shave cream at all is supplied uh, we just don't uh, just don't have the luxury of what people do in the the hobby shave communities out out in the, the civilian world i'll put a link down for for these products that i use again the ideal shaving situation is to be to have to have a procedure where when the razor is pulling across the hair and the skin it's wiping it away like like butter okay shouldn't be any tugging or pulling if not the procedure is just not being done correctly and the products that are supplied in prisoner jails they're just subpar and it's, it's especially if you have a dense coarse beard it's it's quite painful even going with the grain so just thought it'd be some inf in interesting information to put out there for the shaving community to let people know how people shave in jail or prison, what products are supplied. I challenge you to buy one of the security razors and, and try shaving with one, and or try shaving without shaving cream. Use a, a mixture of soap and, and shampoo. See how it is. Hope you enjoyed the video. Comment down below what experiences do you have in regards to this. Start a conversation on it. Tap the bell icon, subscribe if you would, helps the channel out, and like the video. Have a great day.